Hello friend and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show you how to transform or convert data data analysis slash regression or table in the result coming from descriptive statistics or inferential statistics like regression. So you'll be able at the end of this video to convert or transform table that come from data output to Word or Excel format. So it's been a very difficult task for a researcher, student, or other data user to transform their result into a word format. So it can take a long time if you don't know how to use uh, some packages like AskDoc or Outrec and have a table in uh, international standard format. So that's the aim of this video. And if you have not yet done, do subscribe, give up a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell. It will be a pleasure for us to keep improving and producing video in order to help you improve your uh, data analysis skills. So let's get started with our topic. So uh, we have a data set with data and variable on financial performances of US banks. We will use in our uh, tutorial two main packages called uh, as doc, as it's written is command as doc. We use uh, packages as doc as well as outbreak package, outbreak too. So we use the packages as doc and outbreak. So let us first create a do file, which is a document we do with a different command that will lead to the conversion of our data outputs into Word or Excel. So let's create it. So here is our do file that is created. So the first thing I will do is, is uh, uh, first of all, do a summary of summary statistic of some variable summary using the command sum. So I will come here in the interface and select different variable. I will do the uh, summary statistic of ROA, return on asset, return on equity. We have uh, we select randomly sum of variable number of ATMs, number of branch employees. Okay, so I will limit it. I will limit my uh, set of variable in on those one. So let's let us uh, cut it and paste in our do file. So I will write a command sum followed by the name of different variable. So let let execute it, and you can see that the result are presented here in this data. So the result that I hear, if we copy the result directly like this, for example, and paste it in uh, in a word document the word document like uh, like this one so i create a new word document that this is control v so you can see that the uh, the format does not match with uh, with word so that we need to uh, to build step by step a table and copy element by element it's not uh, it's not that easy if you have a huge table to manage it will not be uh, interesting uh, for example in regression when sometimes we have a regression with uh, tons of uh, information on variable and so on. So uh, let us uh, use, install first of all the package as doc using the, the command uh, ssc install, ssc install, followed by the name of the package which is as doc. So we can go on research tab and uh, type as doc, we see all information and it can be installed directly by over there. So let us execute. You see me information which will show me some information on the package called as doc. So it will tell me probably that the package is already uh, installed. So tell me that uh, the package already exists and are different. There's no problem, no problem. So it will work when you do it. So we'll also install the package after the installation of the package as doc, it will be used uh, most of the time on table. As doc can work on regression as well, but it's better to use as doc on regression because uh, our rec two, our rec two, we use our rec two mostly on regression because it could give a, a table a very good shape that are similar to uh, international standard of table that can be uh, accepted reviews which you can publish article that are valuable. So let us execute and install the package R rec two. So the package R rec two. So it's already installed. So it will probably tell me that the package R rec uh, already installed and up to date. So here is the message: all part all file are already all file already exists and are up to date. So 
uh, let us start with our uh, transformation of the first step after installing the package will be to uh, set a directory using the command cd uh, and that import the name of the path to the uh, to the file so i created a file in my desktop called uh, starter training uh, starter training now you go in my path and use this uh, menu this menu to copy so you can see the path to the to the, to the file to the folder so uh, to the folder that i have created so let's copy it by clicking on uh, Control C to copy the path, and then uh, come back, come back into Stata and paste the, uh, the path to the, to, the, to the folder, and then select the command CD followed by the name by the path code. So let, let us execute it, and we see that uh, a new directory has been defined. So all uh, action that we made, all Word document or Excel or text document that we create will be located in this file. So the next step after uh, setting this file, start a training in my desktop as a directory, the file uh, can be, the folder can be located anywhere in your computer. So you can just copy the, uh, the path and paste here. So uh, after that, how can we see, for example, this table in the Word document that, uh, that will be, uh, that will be generated so let us just uh, use as doc as doc followed by the command so let us uh, precede the command by as doc so the, the preview command on the summary statistic of different variables that we have selected so let us just select this uh, two line command and then execute and you can see that our table have been produced and you can see that there is a link here telling me that there is a file, a doc file called my file that has been generated automatically. The file is generated into a directory that have been uh, that have been created. So we can go in our directory to see a file, or we can directly click here on my doc. So when you click on my doc, you will see that uh, the file, our uh, document, word, uh, naturally uh, by by default, word document will be, will be generated containing a table uh, with information so you can see that there is a descriptive statistics table uh, containing a variable that we have selected uh, return of asset return of equity number of atm and so on with different uh, uh, information on the number of observation mean standard deviation minimum and maximum of variable so we can uh, tell you to give us uh, more detailed statistics if you want but that's not the objective of the video where to show you how to uh, transform your uh, table into uh, your data table into Word document. So, uh, as though can be applied to some regression, but the most appropriate command that you can use for regression is the command outrec using the package outrec that we already installed here. So, let us uh, run a regression, uh, for example using the command rec to explain a variable uh, return on asset we run the command using a variable return on asset uh, followed by uh, some of the set of independent variables here is a regression so if we run the regression we will have a result here that we cannot uh, directly copy first the result is not in the uh, appropriate format to present in a uh, result that will be for example public in, publish in a, uh, a known uh, review so if we paste for example in this uh, word document directly you will see that the format does not match with, uh, with word so we need to use some tips in the data in order to transform this result into a good format so let us uh, start doing using the outrec command so we type outrec outrec2 followed by uh, using using what using uh, we give the name of the file we we'll call it for example uh, regression uh, regression uh, result so there are uh, regression regression result that will be in this uh, this document, the document we call regression result. Make sure that there is no space in your uh, document name. So here is a, a command. And some option that we use will be, for example, the number of decimal, 
DDC, uh, will uh, ask data to uh, use two decimal after a, a point for a decimal object. So we will also ask data to produce a Word document which can tell him uh, to produce an Excel file. So but for now, we want a, 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 an Excel document. So as a regression result have already been produced, you can just execute our command uh, outbreak using regression result deck word. So you just execute and you can see here in our uh, data that a result have been uh, generated. The results of uh, the transformation of document are being generated without uh, word. You cannot click directly here to open the document. Um, if you click here, we just have the RST document, so we go on the file and we can see that the document called in our document uh, state and in our we go on our folder uh, data trading, we can see that there is a uh, document called regression result, a word document called uh, regression result, as well as a uh, uh, text document. So we open a word document uh, doc format in order to notice that there is uh, a result of our equation model that uh, that we created in a new word document called regression result. As we can notice, we have this regression result with two uh, uh, decimal after a point. Uh, we have a standard deviation in two brackets as well as uh, p value significance of different variable levels. So, uh, we close that uh, because if we generate a new uh, regression with Word document open, it will not work. So, second of all, we, for example, estimate a new model, a new regression, with, uh, not with uh, ROA now, but with ROE, the return of equity, so, which is uh, one of the performance variables. We will execute uh, this new regression with ROA and uh, run uh, the second command for our rate. So uh, to have the two results in the same table, we will use the uh, option append in order to test data. Let's uh, put this, the two results in the same table and we see that it is very magical. So let us execute and you can see that the regression has been run and the uh, transformation of uh, regression result with pack, uh, our rate right to package into what has been done. With success, let us uh, once again open our regression result document. We will probably see that the second uh, result of LOA variable has been generated in the same table in the another column so that we can easily copy it and paste whether it is an article, a working document, or any other uh, scientific or working document. So that's it for this uh, video. We hope it has been very interesting for you and hoping too that you have already subscribed and activated the notification bell so that we can keep uh, growing our channel and producing more video in order to help you improve your skill in statistical data analysis using uh, many software, especially data and, uh, and others.